Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Time Up Porsche tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on starting the quest The Fishing Rod. Um, the reason I'm choosing this quest out of the three of these is because this is the only one that has a time limit. So we have 6 days, 7 hours and 49 minutes in which to complete the fishing rod. Um, I think I'm halfway there already with it. So let's take a look. So I'm at my crafting table bench, which is where you need to go to make the fishing rod. And remember if you click on this icon, it will bring up what quests you have for the items. So to make the fishing rod, we need 15 wood. Uh, down here it's telling us where we can get it from. Uh, we need two wild cocoons, so it's telling us from tree kicking we can get that, so I've shown tree kicking, and we need one copper bar. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is put a copper bar, well, as much copper as I can make. So I'm going to go to here, my stone furnace, and select the copper bar. So it's going to use 10 copper to make three copper bars. So let's craft that. Oh, and I still need to get more wood. So there we go. I'll do the maximum amount. I only need one copper bar, so I'm not going to go to each uh, stone furnace and do one copper bar. I'll just simply get them all done here. Well, as, for as long as the fuel lasts, that is. Okay, so that's underway. So now we need some wood and a wild cocoon. I've got lots of stamina. So let's go and see if we can do this. I always like to pick these plants up, these herbs. Um, they're useful. The caterpillar is good lure for fishing. And these can be used to make, well either you can eat them directly to make a healing to heal yourself or you can collect them up and use them for making medicines so it's all good I must do a chest actually because my pockets getting a bit full if we take a look it will cost 400 goals to unlock this row I'm not there so I have to wait I, yeah I do need to do something though with all these resources because uh, my pocket is full Right, let's get this, uh, these two silk uh, worms, or whatever they are. Oh, there's an item that's just dropped. Rubber fruit. lots of experience you can see there you go so when you've kicked it so many times this tree will give no more items today so that's that done and dusted uh, let's get some wood oh and a level wood have we got? 29. Still need lots of wood. Well, I suppose I can gather this off the ground as well. Ah, so we're getting honey now. Honey's good. And there's our first wild cocoon. And there we go, there's the two wild cocoons. So let's actually get just a few more if I can. Right, that's that tree done. 
So it looks to me like you've got to kick these really big trees if you want the cocoons. Something else you can do is keep your eyes open for poop like that on the ground because sometimes you'll get seeds when you gather. There you go, look, I've got a wheat seed. Oh, blinking it. I don't have enough space. Let's have a look. What can I drop? Um, I would like them wheat seeds. I really would. Can I drop the sand? Yeah. Okay. There we go, so we got that. And we, oh, I've got, I've picked up the wheat seeds, that's all good. Right, let's go do a chest. Because as you can see, you lose your stuff when you drop it. At least I think I did, I don't, don't think there was a bag that dropped there. Yeah, I should have really done one chest actually to store stuff in. Let's see, how do we do a chest? I'm gonna need wood, no doubt. Um, 20 wood. The thing is, I'm gonna to have to drop something else. So, well, let's do... I've gotta try and work out now. Um, how I can free up space. I haven't got the money for that. I could go sell that. Or I could just drop the two copper. Or, oh, I should have said two. Okay, that's given us one free space. Let's see if I've got enough room now for the fishing rod. What am I doing? That's better. Right, so I need that copper bar. Let's see if that's ready. Yes, yeah, so there's one there. Right, got that. And the fishing rod. And there we go. Um, all right, let's have a look. Yeah, there's our fishing rod. Let's check the quest or the mission. Uh, right, okay. So now we've got to find Kiwi. The easiest way is if you go to the map, it shows you. So there we go, there's the fishing rod there. So I just need to come out here. I'm probably not going to have room if he gives me stuff. This is one wicked looking rod. Thanks a bunch, mate. Here, I have some extra bait. Maybe you'll enjoy fishing as much as me. There we go. So that is that quest done. Nice. Uh, it's difficult to judge with some of the quests with or missions whether I can get them done or not in an episode so and something else because it only saves during the night uh, when you go to sleep it also makes it difficult for me <coughs> for recording the episodes because um, if I've got no more time in that particular day to record more episodes and I don't if I if I just quit out now I'll lose all the progress I've made today so I'll have to sleep and if I sleep of course that moves time on but I've decided I'm not going to rush in this so I'm not going to aim for getting being first in the workshop for the first year um, because it would mean I'd have to keep rushing up there and doing so I'm going to take it leisurely right so what do I do then I need to make a chest because I'm out of space I've got one space enough room for a chest right let's do it and then I want to see if I've got. I can show about doing moving the house. Right. Okay. Let's go in my pocket. Let's put that chest there. 
where am I going to put the chest? Where will it fit? Where will it fit in such a small? I can put it there, I guess. Um, I won't give it a name yet because I've got just too many items I need to store, basically. Get a nice bit of space to play with. Um, what things don't I need immediately? Gonna need wood always. Gonna need them always. Soil, perhaps not. Plant fibres are good. Um, okay, oh, I need to store this as well. There we go, that's all stored. Um, right, okay, let's see if I'm too, I don't know if I'm too late. I wanna move this house into the corner because it's taken up too much space. You can also move your workbench to wherever you like. So it would be nice to put it here actually by the entrance or even here. Let's see that, I might be too late to move the house. Um, the AG, ANG construction may be closed. What's the time? half past five I think it's still six so you have to go to a and G construction when you want to move your house and if you go over here to the catalog so there's our house and what I want to do is move it so I select the home move hmm it won't let me that's a bit annoying it won't let me put it right up close I've got it close that side but for some reason doesn't like it that way oh well there we go so I've moved it back a little bit. This workbench, so the work table, we can move that. A T key to rotate. Yeah, that's as close as we can get with that. And that now gives us a bit more space. I can now build all the way along the side of that house and up here. Uh, we can move, I could move this as well actually. I wonder if that would fit over there. Um, let's see. Oh, look at that. nice right so that now gives me all this area to play with um, you can see here a list of um, buildings that you can buy so if I wanted to construct a coop for chickens and geese I'd need 2,000 goals rope iron bar wooden board this is the future just giving you an idea of some of the things you can build so I will be getting a coop at some point and a shed. The shed is for your cows and your sheep. Again, they're very expensive, well out of, well beyond my means at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we can do some nice stuff. We will do some nice stuff. Right, okay, that's done, let's head back. So I've still got stamina, what's the time? Six o'clock. So what I like to, to do each day is use up all of the stamina. And the best way to do that, of course, is gathering. I mean, I'd normally go to the abandoned um, ruins. But I think I'll just chop wood. 
use up my stamina with get covering wood. You need your wood. You can see why you need lots of wood. I'm going to be near building lots of chests, and um, I'll just be needing lots of wood. Plant fibers are good because you can actually use them to feed the animals, as strange as that may sound. And you can also use it for crafting. So I always like to get lots of plant fibers. And there is a way to switch, oops, not auto run. There is a way to switch from um, first person to behind you like this view. Uh, I'd be <laughs> I can't remember what it is. I'll figure it out as I go along. I mean, I haven't played for about a month or two, so I'm getting, this is like a refresher. I'm slowly getting back into everything, all the little things I learnt. It takes a little while, but I shall get there. Oh yeah, I was going to clear this bush out from my land. Okay, you can see a for sale sign there. That's so we can get more space, more land to build on. The only trouble is, I need 1500 goals to buy that land, so won't be doing that yet. But what I will be doing is getting lots of wood. experience as well. I really enjoy the fact that it gives you experience as you're harvesting. It's really a nice touch. And something that you should also frequently do is check the map because it, over here at Sophie's Ranch your Sophie will occasionally give you a I don't know if you'd call it a quest or a mission but she often needs help and it's a great way for getting your reputation up with Emily so I like to keep an eye on the map because it shows you little things that are happening so meet and greet and if you just hover over the icons it tells you so that's where I've got to build the bridge here's Amber Island great place for harvesting as well so yeah you, I keep going to the map every now and again just to keep an eye on what's going on in the town right I'm nearly out of stamina Can I make any progress on any of the missions that I have? I don't think so. So let's have a look at this. I'm not going to try and do this quest. I'm just going to have a look. So I'll need three copper blades. And you need a grinder. So let's see what grinder. I did look, but I'll check again what the grinder needs. So the grinder, I don't know if I've got enough copper or I don't think I have. So I'm going to need 20 stone, or isn't it, 10 stone, to 
to make the grinding stones. That's what I usually like making money with, the grinding stones. Oh, there is the timer. Let's quickly have a look at the grinding stones. So they require... Alright, so I need a total of 10 stone, which I have. These are easy to do. Yeah, I want to get myself a grinder though. I'm going to need that. So that I've got. It's the three copper bars. And I'll have them as well. So, And you'll remember I did pick up old parts from the abandoned ruins. So I've got them as well. So I'll be able to build a grinder. I'll do that then in the next episode. Hopefully this will be cooked up by then. The main thing is though, now I can sleep and then this day. And so... Basically, I can then log out and exit this game safely once I've slept. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.